the other thing is that the models and the presentations of Jesus that we're seeing, a good friend of mine actually, um, Father Dwight Longenecker, another very good man in the men's movement, uh, he always says that, you know, most of the time you see Jesus, he's this kind of hippie guy with long flowing hair holding a lambkin and skipping through the fields of dandies. That wasn't Jesus. Jesus was a carpenter at a time where the, the tools were crude. The people had to work very, very hard to get to where they were and to make any money. The people he surrounded himself with were simple fishermen. He was a guy's guy. Right? And even within that, we can still see meekness. You can still see mercy. I think that's part of the problem, is that we think that being a man means that you, ha you cannot be meek, that you cannot be humble. So whenever we're presenting Jesus as only this sort of hippie-ish type, we, miss, we skew his masculinity, and we skew our own understanding of what masculinity is. Because a man takes stands for things. He lets his yes be yes and his no mean no. And we can't do that if your truth is your truth and my truth is my truth. So we have to understand how are we presenting Jesus in the world? How are we presenting him to our own families?